Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, magre-review naman tayo. Nalalapit na ang exam ng BCLTE. Kaya naman, isahan na natin. Let's try nga kung nakapag-basa-basa uh, na kayo ng inyong mga handouts. Yung importante, yung local treasury operation manual, mabasa nyo. So, tingnan natin kung ready na kayo. Ang topic natin today is about fiscal organization of local governments and the local treasurer. Yung chapter 1, fiscal organization of local governments. Nag-prepare ako ng 14 questions. Tingnan natin kung makakapasa na, kayang-kaya na natin ipasa ang um, BCLTE. Okay? Pero bago yan, ako nga pala si Anthony Sibu and Conseo, ang inyong makakasamang muli for this video. Okay? Let's try the question number one. Blank is a body, politic, and corporate endowed with powers to be exercised by it in conformity with law. Letter A, national government. Letter B, local government unit. And letter C, provincial government. Letter D, municipal government. As you can see doon sa mga choices natin, may salitang government. So, pangpalito po, yan. Halos magkakamukha at tamang sagot naman siya. Pero, syempre, isa lamang ang tamang sagot. Tingnan natin, let's remove C. Si provincial government and municipal government. Bakit kanyo? Kasi under na siya ng local government unit. Ang provincial and municipal barangay is local government unit. Pero alin nga ba dito kay national government at local government unit ang tamang sagot? Okay, hindi natin. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, si local government unit. Bakit? Tingnan natin. Local government unit shall exercise, exercise powers as a political subdivision of the national government. Ibig sabihin, katuwang siya ng national government and as a corporate entity representing the inhabitants of its territory under Section 15 local of the Local Government Code. So, tatandaan nyo po ang keyword is local. Kasi itong ine-exam natin, itong i-examine natin is basic competency on local treasury exam. So, local po ang keyword. The answer is local government unit. Okay? Let's move to question number 2. The common requirements for creation of a local government unit or its conversion from one level to another shall be based on the following. Letter A, land area. Letter B, income. Letter C, population. And letter D, all of the above. Ano nga ba ang tamang sagot dito sa question number 2 na to? Maaari na all of the above. Tingnan natin. Yes, the common requirements for creation of a local government unit is land area, income, and population. All of the above. Tingnan natin, the creation of local government unit or its conversion shall be based on three verifiable indicators of viability and projected capacity to provide services. Ito na nga, yung land area, income, and population. So, may mnemonics pong tinatawag. Tatandaan nyo po yung LIP or LIP. LIP. Si land area, income, and population. Tandaan nyo po yung mnemonic na yan. Lalabas po yan sa exam. Okay? Question number three. The determination of compliance to the common requirements for creation of an LGU or its conversion shall be attested to by the following except. 
tatandaan niyo po si except lagi pong lumalabas sa exam yan. Letter A, Department of Finance. Letter B, Philippine Statistics Authority. Letter C, Provincial Capital. And the letter D, Lands Management Bureau. Alin nga ba ang tamang sagot? Or, sinasabi dito sa question number 3, except. Ibig sabihin, yung tatlo, tamang sagot, except dun sa nag-iisa na yon. So, tingnan natin. Let's remove first si Land Management Bureau. Ibig sabihin, tamang sagot yan. Si Philippine Statistics Authority and Department of Finance. Ang except po ay si Provincial Capital. So, the, the answer is, for this question, is letter C, Provincial Capital. So, hindi po kasali ano, sa common requirements doon sa tanong na determination of compliance, the common requirements for creation of an LGU si Provincial Capital. So, let's move to question number 4. A province may be created by an Act of Congress and subject to approval by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite to be conducted by the COMELEC, Commission on Election, in the local government unit or units directly affected from the effectivity of said act. The plebiscite shall be held with letter A, 30 days, letter B, 60 days, letter C, 120 days, and letter D, 1 year. Alin ba ang tamang sagot? Tingnan natin. Tanggalin natin si 1 year. Next, si 60 days, and si 30 days. So the correct answer is letter C, 120 days. Question number 5. A contiguous territory as certified by the Lands Man Management Bureau to comply with the creation of a province shall be at least letter A, 100 square kilometers, letter B, 2,000 square kilometers, letter C, 10,000 square kilometers, and letter D, 50,000 square kilometers. Ano nga ba? Ilan nga ba yung tamang area para sa creation ng province? Okay, tanggalin natin si 100 square kilometers, si 10,000, and si letter D. So, the correct answer is letter B, 2,000 square kilometers. Mamaya po, ituturo ko po sa inyo yung technique sa creation ng province, cities, and municipalities. Okay, let's move on to question number 6. A province may be created if it has an average annual income for the immediately preceding two consecutive years based on 1991 constant prices as certified by the Department of Finance of not less than letter A, 2,500,000 pesos, letter B, 20 million pesos, and letter C, 50, 50 million pesos, and letter D is 100 million pesos. Alin ba dito ang tamang sagot? Tignan natin. So, tanggalin natin si 2.5 million. Si letter D and letter C. So, the correct answer is letter B, 20 million pesos ang kinakailangan na income ng isang probinsya bago siya makirate bilang isang ganap na province. So, question number 7. A municipality or a cluster of barangays may be converted into a component city if it has a locally generated average annual income for the last two consecutive years based on 2,000 constant prices as certified by Department of Finance of at least. So, by this time, municipality naman. Tingnan natin kung magkano ang kinakailangan income ng isang municipality bago siya makreate bilang isang full-pledged municipality. Letter A, 2.5 million. Letter B, 20 million pesos. 
letter C, 50 million pesos, and letter D, 100 million pesos, which is the correct answer. Let's remove C, 2.5. Letter B, alin dito kay letter C and D ang tamang sagot? The correct answer is letter D, 100 million pesos. Question number 8. The minimum population as certified by the Philippine Statistics Authority to comply with the requirements for the creation of a province shall be letter A, 25,000 inhabitants, letter B, 100,000 inhabitants, letter C, 150,000 inhabitants, and letter D is 250 inhabitants. Ilan nga pa ang dami ng tao o population ang kinakailangan bago ma-create ang isang probinsya. Let's remove letter A to 25,000 inhabitants, letter B, and letter C. So the correct answer is 250 inhabitants. Okay, question number 9. The minimum population as certified by the Philippine Statistics Authority to comply with the requirements for the creation of a city shall be So by this time, city naman. Tingnan natin kung ilang ba kinakailangan dami ng tao bago makreate ang isang city. So letter A, 25,000 inhabitants. Letter B, 100,000 inhabitants. Letter C, 150 inhabitants. And letter D, 250 inhabitants which is the correct answer let's remove letter D A so pamimilian natin si B and C 100,000 ba o 150 so the correct answer is letter C 150 inhabitants question number 10 a contiguous territory as certified by the lands management bureau to comply with the creation of a city shall be at least letter A, 100 square kilometers, B, 2,000 square kilometers, letter C, 10,000 square kilometers, and letter D, 50,000 square kilometers, which is the correct answer. So let's remove D, B, and C. The correct answer is 100 square kilometers bago ma-create ang isang city. Question number 11. A classification based on the minimum population of 200 inhabitants and annual income of at least 15 million pesos. Ano ito? Province ba? City? Barangay? And municipalities? Letter A, barangay. Municipality? Province? And highly urbanized city the correct answer is letter d highly urbanized city so kinakailangan niya ng at least 50 million pesos annual income and a 200,000 inhabitants question number 12 a municipality may be created if it has an average annual income for the immediately preceding two consecutive years based on 1991 constant prices as certified by the Department of Finance of not less than letter A 2.5 million letter B 20 million pesos and letter C 50 million pesos and letter D 100 million pesos which is the correct answer let's remove D C and B so ang kinakailangan lamang na annual income for the creation of a municipality is 2.5 million pesos. Question number 13. The minimum population as certified by the Philippine Statistic Authority to comply with the requirements for the creation of, man of a municipality shall be letter A, 25,000 inhabitants, letter B, 100,000 inhabitants, letter C, 150 inhabitants, and letter D, 250 inhabitants. Ilan nga ba ang kinakailangan populasyon para sa creation ng isang munisipalidad? Okay? Let's remove letter D, C, and B. The correct answer is 25,000 inhabitants. 
Question number 14, the creation, division, or abo abolition of, or of alteration of boundaries of provinces, cities, municipalities, or barangay with, within ARMM shall be determined and enacted by Letter A, Act of Congress Letter B, Sangbunian Letter C, Local Government Unit and Letter D, Regional Assembly Alin dito ang tamang sagot? So, re let's remove Letter C B So, ang pamimili na lamang natin is A and D Act of Congress and Regional Assembly Mapapansin nyo pareho po silang tamang sagot Pero, alin nga ba dito yung pinakang tama? So, letter D, Regional Assembly ng ARMM. Question number, okay. Tandaan po natin, yung sinabi ko kanina, yung LIP, L-I-P, yung Land Area, Income, and Population. So, sa province, tandaan ninyo ang 2,000 square kilometers, 20 million, and 250 inhabitants. Si city naman, 100 square kilometers, 100 million, and 150 inhabitants. Ang municipality, ang tatandaan nyo lamang, 50 square kilometers, 2.5 million pesos, and 25,000 inhabitants. And sa highly urbanized city, so 100 square kilometers, 50 million pesos, and 200 inhabitants. Okay, hanggang dito na lamang po. Maraming salamat. Hanggang sa susunod muli.